Amateurs will start with Bo Horvat centering Matt Barzell and Casey Sezikis, Ryan Pullock, Adam Pellick in front of Sorokin. Puck is down and we're underway at UBS Arena at Belmont Park. Ryan Pullock puts it into the corner. Engvall over to Nelson. And now Kyle Palmieri. Palmieri forces it deep. Engvall. Kyle Palmieri at the side of the net. Couldn't shoot it. Plays it to the blue line. Romanov, Nelson with a look. He shoots the save. The rebound comes back to him. Good aggressive save there by Morazic. Good, good opportunity for Brock. You know Brock, that monkey on his shoulders is gone now that he scored that goal. First in 11 games last night. His 30th of the season. The overtime winner against the Philadelphia Flyers for Brock Nelson. Engvall, Thompson, wrist shot in traffic. Nelson pokes it free. Can't get the shot away. Now it comes through and just went wide. In between the arm and the pad and then the shot on net. And again, Nelson just couldn't find the loose puck. But plenty of... Played it down low and around the boards. Holmstrom taking the lineup spot of Hudson Fashing here tonight. Shot from Riley, produced a rebound, and it popped right through Holmstrom. McLean. Pass across for Andreas Athanasiu. Got a weak backhand towards the net. Hung up on the outside of the goal. Donato twisted it through the crease. Out for Tenorti, the blast, and a save made by Sorokin. He's been good. I thought he got a little bit away from his game. Last night, Brendan, a little a couple of turnovers. That one pinballed around in the slot, and Taylor Radish got a good chop at it on net. He threw that initial hit, and everybody came coming. I think Ryan Donato just turned on him. It looked bad, but we haven't seen Sebastian Oh make a dirty hit before. Here's Clutterbuck to the trailer. McLean, save, rebound. Pope dead, still alive. Clutter right in the slot area to McLean. Takes a good a good look. Clear look for the goaltender, Morazic, also. Spins on Connor Bedard. Zizekas to Barzell. Barzell through the neutral zone. Leaves it for Horvat. Horvat, a wrist shot. Kicked away by Morazic. Comes right back to Horvat. Now it's Pellick. Horvat again. A little bit of space at the top. Pellick opens up. Down for Dobson, who swung it on goal from the goal line. And Morozik was there, and now it's Dobson again. I'd like to see Pellick shoot the puck in a good area. Guys are in front instead of passing it into the corner. Here's Bedard with Dickens into the goal. Connor Bedard got it there, and they score. Jason Dickinson on a two-on-one. The Blackhawks have the lead early. Beautifully played two-on-one, and Bedard shows great patience in that play and then makes the perfect pass to, to Dickinson, and he goes up high over the outstretched. Talk about those cross-ice passes, Brendan, on the two-on-ones, and Islanders get trapped in behind, and then Bedard going into the holes, but look where Pelic is, and he gives up that pass. And, I don't know if Sorokin maybe could have got that puck as it went somewhere near the crease, but you just, again, make a decision there, not go in between, and Bedard takes advantage of the situation. In case Zeke is pulled out, you got to assume that role as a defenseman, not as a forward right there. Islanders trying to respond. A good look for Engvall turned away by Morazic. Yeah, I like that call by the linesman. A little discretion there. Keep the game moving. Romanov shot. No rebound from Morazic. Riley down the boards. Riley for Lee. And Lee hanging on to it behind the goal. Centered feed and Clutterbuck denied by Morazic. 13 to 4. Clutterbuck point blank denied by Morazic. Palmieri clears the zone. It's behind Nelson who adjusted to it and then dropped it for Palmieri. Palmieri's pass to Nelson. Nelson handcuffed. Left it for Romanov. That shot changed directions. Glanced off of Morazic and then right through the slot again. Another close call. Around the Blackhawk net. You, you get the sense that the Isles are going to score shortly. There's just too many good chances for, for the Isles. Opportunities towards the towards the net. Oh, Pajot just took a heavy hit from a big man in Jared Tenorti. Yeah, he was there waiting for him, and Pajot never backs away from anybody. Sent it into the crease off of Morazic. Anders Lee couldn't grab that rebound. The amount of speed that Pajot was coming with. And Tenorti stopped him in his tracks. This one taken around the net by Lucas Reichel and put into a dangerous area. Finished the game, came back and played part of the third period with it on last night for the Islanders. His classic shot. Watch the point shot. Good positioning by Sorokin, and then he gets back. And Kershev, look at the move, right? And then go to the net. you got to like that in a young guy. We talked to Darren Pang today. He's seen a lot of Chicago Blackhawks. He says, not the one for your goaltender to find his game because they shoot pucks. Change directions and then clanked off Sorokin. A little cutback chance for Kurashev. And Sorokin was looking over his shoulder, but the puck was under his pad. Dealing with Anders Lee. Puck out. Shot from Kaiser. Blocked on the way. 
Denorti to the net, and it's tipped by Tyler Johnson right into Sorokin. The pucks will be 44. Kaiser couldn't get at him in any way, shape, or form. See the ice times at the top of the screen as Matt Martin took a stick up high in front of that. All the five Blackhawks have been out for more than a minute, but just one in the last oh, 19, oh. and Matt Martin and Jared Tenorti are going to drop the gloves. Sizing each other up, size advantage for Tenorti. That doesn't bother Matt Martin much. And the six foot six Tenorti playing his 200th NHL game, squaring off with Matt Martin. Matt must feel like it, they needed a switch in the game the way it was going. Tenorti trying to wrestle him down. Not sure he's thrown a punch yet. Matt Martin doesn't want to go down. And Martin trying to get that right hand free. This cork screws him into the ice. Trying to go to the net with it. Love down by Dickinson. Bouncing puck out through Pellick. Bedard had a break on it. Connor Bedard closing in with a shot. Kept away by Sorokin. Islanders outshot Chicago. They recounted the shots 12-8 in that first period, but had a hefty start in the shot column as Sorokin has to make a play off and dump in. Try to feed it behind the net for Sezikis. It's Barzell tied up by Jones. Sezikis gets the puck to Polak and now Pellick. A wrist shot, no traffic, and right into the chest of Peter Morasic for the whistle. And they're starting to take over a little bit here, Brendan, and they, that, that's what they need. Constant pressure. Holmstrom with a little space in his shot, swallowed up by Peter Morazic. Barzell gave it to Ryan. Now, Ryan needed to be a left-hander. He could have one time, then, in fairness to him. Anders Lee jamming away. Morazic a few saves on that Here attempt. Bedard got it to Kurashev. Kurashev trying to step through, and he brought the puck with him. Put it in front, and a save by Sorokin. Dickinson almost had his second. Great stop by Sorokin on a play created by Philip Kurashev. Just good speed through through the middle of the uh, the ice. There's Kurashev again. That time for Entwistle puck near the net and defended away. That Kurashev is slippery, I'll tell you. He's had a lot going for him here in this hockey game as Barzell has it, shoots it. Morazic squeezes the puck and hangs on. That pre promoted from Rockford, but of course. Number 13 overall pick by the Islanders in 85, parts of 11 seasons, more than 600 games as an Islander. Well, here we go. A necessary third period for the New York Islanders. We get a penalty right off the bat. There hasn't been a penalty called in the hockey game. Three of four coming in as Barzell blows by Tenorti. All the way around the net. Barzell still with it, circling the zone. Barzell, back door. He was hoping for Pajot. <laughs> Certainly an entertaining individual, isn't he? Pulled it out of the corner. Barzell, Horvat, scores! Barzell and Horvat hook up on the power play, and the Islanders tie it at one. Around the net, Here's, he's already in, going to go around the net. Let me see who's available. Tries to make a cross-ice pass through Pajot. He's going to come and pick it up again. As Zizekas takes a little look, comes and gets it. They can watch him come out of the corner with it. Still got plenty of room. And then he's able to spell, spell Horvat, who's patient enough to wait for the pass. Magnificent, Butch. How about that saucer on his backhand in a tight area right over the paddle? Watch this right here. Unbelievable stuff. Uh, hung on to it as long as he possibly could. Second game in as many nights for the Islanders. They have yet to win a game in the second half of the back-to-back -back this season. This is their final back-to-back. Oh, crazy that bounce takes there. Takes a friendly hop for the Islanders and Anders Lee. Gets to the puck first, trying to center it. Up in the air, down, it's in! Simon Holmstrom found the loose puck and it squeaks through Morazic. And it was all because of the, the lucky break, right? Starts way down on the Islander deep defensive zone with Adam Pellick finally able to get one. Here's where it starts on this play here, and then the Islanders go to work and get a fortuitous bounce in their own zone. Oh, uh, that's a funky one. You got to mark that. And you got to feel good. You do work for your chances, but that was lucky. You betcha to Butch. Simon Holmstrom, since being inserted back in the lineup, you need to get involved. And he's had a tremendous game tonight. And you see right here, this thing's wobbling around. Put it at the net. Good things happen right there. Holmstrom is 14th of the season, gives the Islanders. Bedard for Kurashev into the zone with three. Dickinson, two seconds and one. And the Islanders come back in the third to win it.
and they move one point out of a playoff spot.